Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Epic Rides, welcome to the 24th annual TMC Health 24 Hours in the Old Pueblo! <laughs> We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the best and most challenging mountain bike races all around the world. While we did a lot of very difficult races in 2023, I think it was our foray into 24-hour racing that challenged us the most. It feels like a completely insane thing to be doing. Probably because it goes directly against our shared propensity for 8 to 10 hours of solid sleep a night. But it's important to get out of your comfort zone, and we're back at it in 2024 with not just any 24-hour race, but possibly the most iconic one of all time, 24 hours in the old Pueblo. 24-hour racing is without a doubt one of the purest and most grassroots ways to enjoy mountain bike racing. You hang out with your friends, you eat weird food, you stay up all night and watch the sunrise. And in between all that, you hammer the pedals pretty hard. And so if we're gonna race for 24 hours, it makes sense to do so in the purest, most grassroots category, which is to say a four man single speed team. And I do mean man. Since this isn't an officially co-ed category, most of the teams are all male. As a 50% female team, we will have our work cut out for us to compete. But Lo and I aren't ones to be intimidated by a bunch of dudes and their itty bitty cogs, and we will be bringing our A game. Can we get another little sneak too? Thanks. I hurt a couple of gentlemen's feelings, passing them in my unicorn, my light up tutu. And of course, as it usually does with 24 hour racing, everything goes pear shaped in the wee hours. So fun news, somebody picked up and rolled off with Joe's bike. It's kind of an emotional roller coaster. Whose idea was this again? <laughs> that would be yours. Are you sure? We're gonna be okay, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> You are about to spin lap after lap after lap after lap on the Sonoran single track sensation. Show of hands. Who's done it all 24 years? Damn. Yeah. All right. Who's doing it their first time ever? Welcome. Bienvenidos a 24 hour town. We have a couple decisions we need to make. One, gearing. I'm happy with my gear. 32, 20. I felt fairly good with my gearing today. 36, 19. It's ridiculous. Okay. It's kind of low. 32, 21. And you're happy. Yes. A 32, 18. That's what I've done b once before. Okay. It worked fine. Yeah, it was fine. What do you guys think? Here's my starting outfit. I'm very excited because I decided to wear my primal cargo bibs so you can see i can actually carry things get to them really easily but you guys should go spin around so a little bit before the, the baton really hatch my uh, cargo bibs yeah the cargo bibs are the winning move here yeah because i last time i ran flog hollow i felt like i had to like hold yeah no you can just send it joe's gonna put a bike okay. and bring me a bottle to replace this one and my camera yeah at the start so Good luck. Thanks. You see that tent on the hill right there? That is a long ways from where the bikes are. Like I had to walk a long ways to get to that. And I still have to walk all the way up this hill to get to the start of the run. I feel like nervous. That's a very, oh, I, I look good. But that's a long run. It's really long. Very it's long like run. At least 800 meters. Yeah. Maybe more? Yo. Yeah. Mackie Franklin, the pride of New Mexico, baby. He's got this. Don't let the bananas deceive you. We run like half a mile and then have to navigate this entire insanity and find the bikes and then get out of this way. Two, one, go!
The first lap is slightly different from the remaining laps in that after the run, it skips the initial single track section just past the transition tent, instead using this dirt road to give everyone plenty of time to spread out. But once it connects onto the bitches, the infamous section of seven punchy climbs along Gasline Road, the remainder of the course is the same. As you can see, the initial part of the course trends downhill, and it's the section immediately after the bitches that's the hardest on a single speed because you're spun out and forced to alternate between frantic pedaling and coasting. But once you hit the low point, it's a gradual climb all the way to the whiskey tree. Come on, you guys are too quiet. There we go! From there, you have another descent, but this one is steep enough that you can carry speed, and only having one gear doesn't slow you down much. Then you hit the long climb to the high point. 44 minutes in, not including the run. This is the climb up to the high point. This climb is steeper than the previous one, and it's here that you start to regret once again that you chose to ride single speed, although this time you feel like you have too big a gear. On this climb, keep an eye out for the rubber duck tree, Rubber ducky tree, that means I'm getting close. Then you know you have one final push to the top. All right, high point. And from there, you're descending all the way back to the finish line at the transition tent for a total lap distance of 16.3 miles with 1,100 feet of climbing. Come on, Mackie! Go, 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 go! Go, Mackie! How was it? That was hard. <laughs> was your suit breathable? Yeah, suit was okay. You were like 10 seconds behind that. Okay. Group. Well, that was hard. Part right through, I was like, oh, I need to put an easier gear on. And then I got to the climb and it wasn't bad. I got some, I'm eating some plain noodles with butter and Parmesan because I don't know why I'm nervous. It's totally ridiculous because this is absolutely good for fun. Maybe it's because I have to wear a leotard in front of so many people. But this is hitting the spot, so we're just gonna stick to the mostly plain carbs. Good plan. Exactly. Okay. What do we got? And um, I have here. Well, uh, yeah, they looked at the bike, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's awesome." <laughs> <laughs> Let's get physical. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be on the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you don't need the. You don't need a GoPro. GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for for the fans. You got yeah. this. Go low. Go Whoa. low. <laughs> Let's get physical. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Go, go, go. You're flying. You ran a very, very consistent, like, 105, 105 right just what we, yeah, right on schedule. You got louder! We probably know that. Yeah, you know, me is a little down, a little shorter than usual. Yeah! The first half is just hard because you're just spun out, mm -hmm. like, oh my god. People are just coming by on their gears. This is terrible. It's so flat. <laughs> but once that part's over, it's fine. I yeah. Mean, gearing was perfect after that. Gear yourself. Warm up next time. Let's go! Slipped and sliding around all those turns. A winter on the trainer does not help. <laughs> That's turning. <laughs> Still trying to give me traffic in front of the con. I regret not taking the jump set. 
and I hit the kicker. How was the lap? Not great. No? I was on the back half and I was like, I could use a 22 right now. Mm. That would feel nice. Ten, 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 ten. I don't think I was any faster than I was last year, so that was a little disheartening because I feel like I've trained harder mm -hmm. this year. You're good. Oh, oh, Holly, hop on gear. <laughs> no choices. Yeah, this part's a bit um, unfortunate on the single speed. Trying not to bounce, trying to be efficient. I love to high cadence. Pause. Sprint. Pause. You can see why this makes you a better rider. Everybody was so nice cool. for the most part. Good. And you got a good spot. <laughs> so I think I got it right here. Thank you so much. <laughs> mind if I come on your left or right here. Thank you so much. Go for it. Thank you so much. Got it. I come by on your left. Thank you so much. Is that Tanya? One of the things you learn very quickly when racing a single speed is the importance of using other people on course to your advantage. This is always true, of course, but it's even more critical when you only have one gear because the difference between drafting and spinning 200 RPM on a flat section by yourself is pretty dramatic. So I was super thankful to get caught by these two speedy ladies at just the right spot, and it was also a lot more fun than riding by myself.
I look down and it's like, you know, like 10, 12,000 watts, and then I just coast a little bit. Homemade chicken noodle soup. Very not homemade ramen noodles. Be better! Woo, 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 Yeah! Oh, your f***ing elevated. So it turns out, we are consuming vegetables. There's a carrot in here. Mine has some freeze dried carrots and corn. How's your situation? This is amazing. That was really brilliant. I just oh, love ramen noodles. I want to get one of your, make sure I have one of your cinnamon right. rolls oh, in yeah. my tent for my get before I wake up. Yup, I need to pull those out. Testing. I guess it's working. Yeah, ready. Okay, uh, lap two. Here we are starting my second lap. Staring directly into the sun for the first 20 minutes. Trying to get the legs moving again after a long break. Mind if I sneak by on your left? Thanks. Try not to go too hard with all the adrenaline. But that's super easy to do. My first lap, obviously, I didn't have any traffic because once I like started, there was the group of front in front of me that I never caught, so that was it. This time there was lots of traffic. And uh, there was a lot of like catching people and like not quite the right spot. So I couldn't just like zoop around them and having to like slow down, wait till there was a spot, accelerate back up. And the like slowing and accelerating is so tiring. So tiring. I'm just trying to stay smooth as possible. Oh, this. got to get through the first 20 minutes and then single speed comes alive on the rest of the course. Overall I'm happy with it. I'm also excited to not do one, two, two laps. Oh, I only have two laps off? Well, we can talk about that if you... That was That's okay. That, no, it's that... That was the plan. That, yeah, it probably makes sense. The first of the bitches. I really have no choice but to just do it. I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> I would really like to have a conversation and a negotiation. <laughs> to potentially push me. I, like, but, <laughs> which, which where, where would you like to be pushed, Lo? <laughs> when I went to the worst part of this course for single speeders, it's this shallow, flat road. I found a couple guys that towed me for a bit, but Made this part a little bit better. This part is good. Perfect pitch. Swoopy. In and out of the horrific catches. This is much better here. Just gotta hold on to the pace now. Try not to run into this crap. Course changes every lap because people hit things and knock cactus into the trail so you got to be on the lookout uh, it's pretty out here with the sun going down i don't know if you can see that oh yeah yes 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 Woo! oh yeah that's good stuff right there i'm going to treat you to a master class on how to blow corners so pay attention Too bad there. Gotta say, it's 
so pretty out here. The temperature is amazing. I'm sure once I stop, I'm going to be freezing. But it feels so good right now. It felt smoother than the, the first lap. Nice. Uh, the turns were better. Excellent. I tried to film myself blowing a bunch of turns and I didn't get it on camera. I found a couple guys early on to latch onto. It helped for a while. Yeah. On the last part of the road section, I got on this guy and I like didn't have to pedal. He just sucked me right along. Nice. The last part of it. Cool. Definitely felt the first lap in my legs. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. The thought of having to do that, you know, <laughs> three more times. <laughs> <just>. <laughs> I mean, I was just saying to Sid, like, you know, we could just say screw it and all go to sleep and yeah, get up true. at six o'clock and start over at that point. Yeah, that's true. But we also know we're not. But we know we're not going to. I mean, we're only like 16 minutes out of first right now. I know. Which honestly know. seems really good considering the times that they're throwing down. The guy that flew by me on the first lap, he didn't seem like he was working that hard. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. At least he was hiding it very well. Yeah. It was shortly after filming this clip that disaster struck. Joe went down to meet Lo at the end of her lap and left his bike leaning against the exchange tent for probably three minutes at most. When he came out, his bike was gone. So let's start with like, the good stuff. Uh, I had actually a really incredible lap. I was very consistent. I was pretty much on pace with my original time. So about 120, which was really good for me. Maggie was late to the exchange tent by like three to five minutes because everybody underestimated this one. Not so fun news, somebody picked up and rolled off with Joe's bike. So right now we are down a bike. Um, the bike is pretty unique. One, it is a hardtail single speed. It's a pivot less and it has custom red decals with tiny, tiny little penises on it. So, uh, pretty hard to walk away with that one and get away, uh, but it happened. We're hoping somebody accidentally just rolled it to camp after hypoxic lap, but yeah. And so I headed out on my first night lap, unsure if I was going to be doing multiple laps in a row, going into an ABAB -AB rotation with Mackie, or if our race was essentially over. When Mackie finished, he and Joe set out to search the venue in the dark and check every single bike that was lying around, and there were hundreds. They were in panic mode, so they weren't filming this, but about an hour after the bike first went missing, they found it several hundred yards away from where it had been lost and in the beer garden. We still have no idea if this was an alcohol-induced accident or prank or something more nefarious, but obviously we were extremely relieved to find it and to be able to continue with our night laps as planned. All right, got my bow tie, got my suspenders, I got the sparkle pants on. Yeah, I uh, I underestimated low. I apologize. How did you apologize. underestimate low? I underestimated low because I didn't realize that she was going to run the same lap time as her first lap in the light, despite the fact that it was not in the light anymore. I uh, was in the bathroom because I did not want to spend the whole ride having to poop. I missed her finish and definitely lost us probably two, three minutes of transition there. Like so eternity. yeah, it felt like an eternity to all of these guys. I did my best slightly over an hour on that one, I think it was like 101 once I got out. Yeah, happy with that. Now we're going into our nighttime rotation. So I'm gonna get some calories in. I'm gonna take off my chamois I'm gonna get in bed. I was all fired up. It's kind of an emotional roller coaster. <sighs> like the last five minutes, I was like, basically just like, please let me see Joe. Cause I also was starting to realize I'd gone pretty hard and 
Um, if we were gonna go into like Mackie and I doing an AB, AB rotation, that was gonna not be enjoyable. I'm now gonna eat the old cup of noodles. Lie down for a couple hours. Sleeping seems optimistic. I really don't even wanna eat this. Hundred ninety calories of beer, carbohydrates, and salt. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this camera's working. It's making all sorts of weird sounds. What was that noise? Just wanted to do my post lap uh, statement. The camera. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so just went out for my third lap. It went pretty well. My back blew up pretty bad and my leg cramped pretty hard. I did take the GoPro out, but apparently I need a crash course tutorial. Which is really sad because I feel like I had a really fun time out there and had some solid commentary also maybe good that i did not have the camera as my profanity was on an all-time high i think i hurt a couple of gentlemen's feelings passing them in my unicorn and doo -doo -doo, my light up tutu we were gonna try and do an a b a b thing I need a little bit of a breaky, so I feel bad, but also is what it is. So thank goodness my team is amazing and I will go out and hit hopefully my fourth and fifth lap really hard and impress everybody. Thank you. Nice job. Yeah, so just got back from my fourth lap. And it went pretty well. Um, got like this exact same time as my third lap, but I did it a little bit differently. I just I hid behind geared guys for like the entire first half, first half of the lap, as long as they would let me, as long as I could. <laughs> Saved a lot of energy. 2.04 in the morning, I got, I was in the bed for three and a half hours, mas menos. I don't know if it's just the timing of sleep cycles, but, I feel better than I did upon waking at Frog Hollow. So that's good. And then I could uh, go a little bit harder in the second half and ended up with the same time as the prior lap where I was basically alone the whole time. But I'm starting to feel really tired. Can you see a spot? Awesome, appreciate it. Nice job. Thank you. Now I just need to put down a respectful lap, like everybody else has been doing. And maybe I can close my eyes again for like a half hour. This is what I was doing when I walked out of the tent. We're doing fine. Everything's fine. Whose <laughs> idea was this again? <laughs> that would be yours. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Thank you. Come by on your left if I can. Okay, Thank go you. for it. Thank you. Come by when you see a spot. Thank you. You see a good spot. Thank you. Because the time is really accessible. 238. Okay. Yeah, okay. Awesome, thanks. Yes, Going on three in the morning. Some coffee, had a cinnamon roll. Was hoping for a poop, but no such luck. So for 
first. We are by the wreck. Going that was a uh, lap four of most likely six. I think I'm definitely noticing is more fatigue at higher cadence than I would have thought. Like, really okay on the grunts. Legs do not want to spin up the way they're spinning up first couple laps, so that's definitely a thing. <laughs> it was fine. I definitely, I like the passing at night because it does just seem to go smoothly. The lights coming up on people, they know you're there. They don't get surprised. I can buy on your left. I'm very glad I've been wearing the sparkle pants for these night laps because I get compliments on them and I think, you know, it gives people something to be distracted by. I feel pretty good. Feeling better while riding than I am the rest of the time, that's for sure. And I have to decide what totally appalling thing I'm going to eat. We have raw pasta sitting like that. Some mac and cheese pot. Potato chips that are probably stale. Fruit. Sugar. It's 4.30 a.m. Oh, I got an apple. Two dry English muffins. Some s'mores, Rice Krispie treats. Some coffee. Some hydration mix. Um, looks a little dire, but at least my tutu glows in the dark. Mm. It's still warm. That's the best thing ever. Oh my god. Sit is going out. All right, here we go. Last night lap. Oh, missed the bell. It said turn on a light. <laughs> I haven't done this twice already tonight. All right, that was lap five. Third night lap. I'm uh, I'm pretty tired. I'm thinking I'm gonna see the sun on this lap, but it is 6 a.m. and pitch black. Which way is east? I have no idea. I should be good at this point to lube my chain, get some calories in, go lie down for what, sit an hour 10, low hour 20, that's 2.30. Joe, 3.30, 3.45, three hours, which would be nice. It's happening, it's happening. The eastern sky is lightning. My front light died on that one, on that lap. Maybe 25 minutes in. Our battery block thing um, died before I was able to get it all the way charged up, so. Yeah, you know, it happens. I was glad it was that one because the headlight did surprisingly well. Okay, when you're awake all night, it feels just like a miracle when the sun comes up. I did this to us. This was my brainchild. It is. 
becoming definitely notably lighter. Probably not light. I'm having so much fun. Actually, I really am. <laughs> but I really don't want to pedal bikes anymore. But we are not done yet. Bye on your left. Thanks so much. I just need some adult services again. Adult services? Okay. <laughs> the legal kind. We just need that installed. Yeah, please. I just can't do it. Let's put you on. Outbound lighting has been doing a neutral charge station, which has been really great. On your left, go here. On the left. Thank you. Let's go for it. One more, one more. Did it. Hey Taylor, how's it going? I thought that might be you. Handing off to Low. Go, go, go. One more. Thank you. Okay, well, we look frightful. I had to go in the tent, strip down, baby wipe, dry clothes, because I was very oh. chilled. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. The cha cha. Oh my goodness. Did not change in between those two laps, which. I don't know, I don't know what is worse, getting chilled from being in wet clothes or having to put the wet clothes back on. Got cold pretty quick after that one, but it was good. These quads are made for climbing, and that's just what they'll do. Today these quads are gonna single speed all over you. I wanted to be faster, but I was not. <laughs> Which is just a summary of bike racing in general. Oh, Ellie, Ellie. These parts put in loop. Yeah, put on this loop. They shouldn't. Can we get another little sneak of poo? Thanks. Sneak! Thank you. Ah, oh, mistake! Just give me a little push. It was fun to see the sun start to come up, but it's really beautiful out there right now for low. Oh, so pretty. I'm letting one out, Amy. Who those on video? It was not, not a fart. I have nothing else to say. Amy, describe gears to me. How does it feel? Like a party? Like velvet? I'm making a gigantic pancake. Just brewed some fresh coffee. It is freaking beautiful out here. Look at that. I'm extremely impressed with myself that I was able to flip that pancake, not gonna lie. All right, we've got half a gigantic pan pancake, sausage, potatoes, coffee, and um, most importantly, sunlight. Ah, ah, smash! Ow! Oh, amazing, thank you. Woo! This mf -er. uh, This is so fun! It was so hard my gears fell off. Oh no. Oh! Mistake! Ah, can't say! Blinded by the light! Did you take the wheel? Oh! Love it! The pain! We did this to you and your friends. Good job! Hey legs, get your shit together. Da -na -na. Don't touch me. Da -na -na. Oh my god, this. Da -na -na. Oh my god, this. Ouch, ouch. ouch. Uh, I'm coming. Uh, you're good. I'm coming. Don't worry. Uh.
<sighs> yes, love it. Feels great. I have no pain. Can I do a little sneak attack? Thank you. Hello again. <laughs> Uh, I finished up my fourth lap. It was beautiful because it was the sunrise. I wish that I would have gone a little bit faster so I could have seen the sun rise, but it was at my back, but still magnificent. My lap time was just maybe a minute off of my first two, so faster than my last night lap and pretty equivalent to my first two. So pretty proud with that. I really appreciate my team for giving me the uh, extra time off and not making me do a ABAB -A -B situation. I would have gotten crushed. Well, there were a lot of people on the bitches, but now it's feeling very lonely out here. Working on becoming a amateur professional. What I mean, we, defines an amateur professional? I don't know. I just think it sounds cool. It sounds like a real job, but it's not. Ah, oh, I can see somebody finally. But if anybody would like to adopt me or start a GoFundMe, <laughs> I am available. You mind if I sneak by you? Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna head out for the last lap. Put on all the sunscreen, all the PR lotion. Literally slippery. Sneak by you on the left, thank you. Sneak by on your left if I can. Thanks. Thank you. I'm gonna try to go fast, which will either result in going fast or blowing up spectacularly, and we don't know which, but that's what keeps it fun. And so I'm gonna do a light <laughs> I've consumed a ridiculous amount of caffeine and I have more in the bottle which could go two different ways as well. Sneak by if I can. Thanks. And then we just have one last lap, which Joe is gonna take. He's gonna take one for the team. I'm gonna go super hard too. Yeah. I'm done, guys. I am so relieved to be done. Last lap was solid. I was not able to break an hour like I was trying. I pushed hard. I had a pretty fun rip and descent on the last bit there. Go fast, take chances! Yes, India! Push, push, push! Go, go, go! Nice, nice, nice! <laughs> Work. See you, Austin, handing off to Joe. Heading off to the last lap. The math might have said it's not necessary, but you can't really do math right now. Easiest way is to just go do another lap. Dang! Badass! I had to hit the drop side on the fly. I saw that. That looked good. Once you're out here, it's uh. Not too bad. Just to get ready. That feels terrible. And if I had a clean descent, I think I would have had that would have been my fastest time. Yeah. But I did not. Okay, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, so I think I came up with the fact that 17 times 5 is 85. This took me a while in my adult state, so that entertained me for one whole climb. Pretty solid headwind right now. Hopefully, when we turn around at the fence line, we'll be flying back to the venue. And I think I just did 85 miles. Pretty sure the entire split between my lap times was less than five minutes. I feel good about that. I had a 
gear guy I was hanging on to, but I just couldn't do it. So, fireball, fireball. Fireball's over there, maybe. No fireball. Ah. Damn. Fireball, fireball. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the rest of it. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Joe. Come on. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hey. About to cross the road. Start the final climb. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Legs feel blown up. Good job! Nice one. <laughs> how was it? That was real hard. My brain is no longer working. I was forgetting how to like tell people I was coming through. <laughs> I would be like, <laughs> 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 After 21 laps in 24 hours, we ended up second place in the single speed category. And yeah, Lo and I were the only women on the entire podium. We're pretty proud of this result and how we pushed ourselves through the night even when things looked a little rough. And that's the truly great thing about 24 hour racing. It's chosen adversity, sure, but it's adversity nonetheless. And there is such joy in overcoming and seeing that sun finally rise and especially doing it all with great friends. Huge thank you to Lo and Joe for putting up with us and to the Epic Rides crew and all the volunteers for such a well-run event and of course, a great excuse to party in the desert. <laughs>